Yeah, this is Count Fosco. Gets his bitch ass kicked. You scrubby fucking Brad use it. Brad's a bitch ass name. Who named himself Brad, first of all? You're a little bitch if your name is Brad. Just to begin with, okay? Most Brad users tend to be fucking little bitches like Tony Familia, that pussy ass mental case. Anyway, this guy gets fucked up really bad. And I'm glad he has a good connection because he got fucked up royally, like I would fuck him up offline. That's how good this connection is. It's not nowhere near as good as online, but it's good enough that I can get my best combos off on this bitch. Yeah, he is full measure. He reacted too slow. He uh, absorbed that kick, that mid kick, but then didn't do anything about it. That, I was gonna throw his ass against the wall. I couldn't catch him out of that crap. Uh, now you did, dipshit. Where you going? Where you going? Jump in there? You getting kicked in the balls, asshole. Yeah, kicked in the balls, kicked in the balls. Fuck out of here. The fuck was the point of jumping in the air? Yeah, it's kicking in spectacular fashion. You get a bounce combo, motherfucker. Doesn't know how to escape the damn ground throw. Fuck you and your bullshit. No, you can be down. Oh, I don't know. He, he just guessed middle. Who does middle, though? Most people guess forward and back because those do the most damage. This asshole does middle. I'm expecting him to finally catch on because he just got hit with the forward one. But, uh, whatever. I'm thinking too logically, I guess. Oops, yeah, you can't absorb that kick. You absorb it in your head. Counter hit, asshole. And, ooh! Break your arm. I was gonna break his arm again with that forward, back forward throw on him, but he punched out of it. So, I, I didn't ask my greediness for throws. I could have swept him, really. But I just did another death sky who would have finished his ass. But I was like, ah, no, let me finish him with a throw. That's when you get too picky, you know, you get too greedy. I got throw greedy right there. Because really, he has to turtle up. What's he going to do? Start attacking, get hit a bowery, and he has no health left? I was ahead on health there. I should have not done that. And then he got lucky with this crap. I was afraid he was going to um, fucking wall combo me, you know. I don't know. This fucking stage seems so much more claustrophobic when you're fighting Jeffrey. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, but still, he's, he didn't manage to get me too always to the wall. Which is actually more realistic, man. That Jeffrey combo is bullshit, okay? That threat stance is high punches. How the fuck does hit somebody that's prone on the damn ground? This game is broken as shit. Anyway, this asshole got his ass kicked. And he got caught with a forward, forward uh, wall throw there. I shouldn't finish off. I could have finished it off. I don't know why I didn't. I was like, well, fuck it. Let me just beat the hell out of him more. But it's more humiliating to finish the wall throw next time. This, uh, the whole thing, the reason why I fought Jacko on the wall throw, because I've been like, yo, I don't want to beat him out in the open ring. I want to beat him in his best fucking level, fight him in the best possible place he can play. Because then it's like, if I don't beat him in a wall stage, it's like, well, he didn't really beat me then, because if it was a wall stage, it's he'll say that shit. Well, if it was a wall stage, I would have won, or some shit like that. So, all right, let's fight him in the wall stage. However, this fucking ring is too claustrophobic, and so is that other octagon. It's got to be in a square wall, man, because he got me to the wall from doing this a back throw. From the beginning of the round, the back throw, and I automatically hit the wall. That's bullshit. This, this fucking stage is too small. So rematch, no slim fast, no chicken and ribs for fat people. Just ring match. Large ring with walls, and I'll stomp your ass.